Doing our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about a hot topic in the United States, nitrate and water quality. When you think about crops like corn, for example, you look at all the nutrients that need to go onto that crop to feed it, to make it through the season. Well, one of the important ones is nitrogen. And as farmers are putting nitrogen out on crops, they're carefully managing it in several different ways. First of all, they'll do soil tests up front to see, is there any nitrogen left from last year's crop? Then they'll determine how much nitrogen this year's crop is going to need. And then many farmers now are going to the strategy of putting on a little bit of nitrogen in the spring and a little bit more nitrogen in the middle of the season. So they're split applying that nitrogen. One of the reasons why is that nitrogen eventually can convert to the nitrate form, which has a negative charge and can leach down through the soil. So farmers are trying to prevent that leaching because nitrogen is expensive and their crop needs a lot of it. Soil also has a negative charge and that's why we have this issue. So ideally as farmers, we're trying to keep nitrogen in the ammonium form. If it's in the ammonium form, that's positively charged. That will bind with the negatively charged soil. Once it gets into that nitrate form, that's where we really worry about that loss. So a lot of advisors to us as farmers have said, well, just put a little bit on at a time. And that's all great to say. But what happens when you're a dryland farmer like we are, we barely get rain some years. You can't take that risk. You've got to put some more nitrogen out up front because here's the worst case scenario. If a farmer doesn't put enough nitrogen on to get that crop going, then the crop ends up being terrible. Then it doesn't use nitrogen that comes available out of the soil later in the season. There have been a lot of studies done on this. Out of organic matter in soil, that soil will naturally release nitrogen all throughout the growing season. If there isn't significant crop there to use up that nitrogen, well, that's where a lot of nitrate leaching can occur. Now, a lot of people also will blame drain tile that, oh, drain tile's leading to lots of issues. Look, drain tile absolutely reduces total nitrogen lost from fields. It reduces significantly phosphorus, potassium, all these other nutrients. It very much reduces loss. But the one form of nitrogen we worry about losing is nitrate. So for farmers, they can do a number of things. I already mentioned split applying the nitrogen, putting some out at different times through the season, testing the soil, testing that crop to see exactly how much nitrogen they're going to need. But another thing they can do is they can also put on stabilized forms of nitrogen or add a stabilizer to yep. virtually any form of nitrogen. So what Brian was talking about earlier, trying to keep that nitrogen with a positive charge as long as they possibly can out in the field, that can certainly help to reduce loss. Yep, so for me as a dry land farmer, I can go put my nitrogen on early with a stabilizer that gives me much greater chance to keep it in the ammonium form. Now, here's the last thing we wanna leave you with and probably the most important thing we'll leave you with today. Please understand that there is nitrate in all water. It's okay, don't panic. The drinking water standard for nitrate nitrogen is 10 parts per million. So we would really encourage you whenever you hear some story in the news or somebody's talking negative about farmers and oh, they're polluting with all this nitrogen. How many farmers have you ever met that want to waste money? Yeah, that's really what I'd like to do. I'm gonna spend $100,000 on nitrogen and I just want all of it to go into the water. No way, no farmer ever dreams about anything like that. We as farmers are trying to protect the nitrogen, keep Keep it in our fields, use it. So what I'd encourage you to do is go out and test your water. We've done a whole bunch of that and you know what we find? Farmers aren't polluting stuff. Where we see most of the pollution, where most of the nitrate is, it's coming out of cities. And if you don't believe that, just go test some water upstream and downstream out of any city in the country and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. But again, nitrate nitrogen, 10 parts per million, that's drinking water standard. As long as you're below that, we're all good. Well, we don't want to see a high level of nitrogen in the water. We also don't want to see a high level of weed pressure out in our fields. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show.